find it. Are you? You know, the, I, I was asking you that doubt uh, during the class when you, you told me that I can bring it during the such time. Yeah. When that you were telling, why am I not telling I am the drop or I am the tree? Because I am not uh, identifying myself with those objects. I am identifying only with my body, mind, and intellect. It is my body, it is my mind, it is my intellect. So, how intensely the Tadat, you know, intensely uh, I am associating myself if i am so intensely associating with a tree then i will say i am the tree can i interpret in that way i'm not trying yeah, to yeah. argue yeah that is correct that is the way it is yeah i association the sambandha tadatmya you use the word tadatmya so tadatmya sambandhena yushma dasmat pratye gocharayo so the sambandha between body and atma is so much yeah. Okay. I project Atma on the body. And body on the Atma. Okay. How Atma is projected on the body. Body is conscious. When I say body is conscious, what am I saying? I am projecting Atma. Only Atma is conscious. And the, I make the I have made the body conscious. Okay. In, 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 in medical science, nothing wrong with saying body is conscious. Nothing wrong. It's nobody is going to lose anything or gain anything. But he's conscious. Yeah, this guy is conscious. Yeah, he's conscious. He's opening his eyes. Yeah, that's conscious. It's good to know. But body is jara because it's an object of Atma. Atmanaha drishyamanam api, he said. So, but jara, I have made conscious. So, I have projected Atma on the body. Means I have bought it done. The consciousness which belongs to Atma, I have given to the body. Means I have superimposed the consciousness on the body. And body I superimpose on Atma. How do I do that? What are the giveaways of that? What are the giveaways of... The, so how can you say somebody is projecting the body on the Atma? How can you say that? We can say that by the statement that I am mortal, I am unwell. So when I say I am mortal, what am I saying? I'm mortal means what? Hey, the body is mortal, perfectly correct, 100% correct statement. But body is mortal, but what about I? That mortality of the body is superimposed on Atma. Atma is supposed to be Ajonitya Shashvatoyam Purana. But and body is Anityam. That I that is also understood. But that Anityam is superimposed on the Atma. Therefore, what is happening? Not only the, the Tadatyam, the word you said, you only said that's a very beautiful word, Tadatyam. I am projecting the qualities of Atma on the body, and I'm projecting the qualities of body on Atma. Goes back and forth. Both way. Anyonya. Anyonya. Anyonya Atma Katam. Anyonya Dharmanscha. Shankaracharya says in Abhyasa Bhashya. Very brilliant Bhashya. Adhyasya Itare Tarabhavanu Papattav Siddhayam. Atmani Chidat Chidatmake. Uh, so that Bhashyam is there. So he's saying is very clear. In the Atma, I project the attributes of the Anatma. And in the Anatma body, I project the attributes of Atma. Like that he said. So correct, you're right, Hariji. Some some and substance is what what you said is right. That association I is there. I don't have that association with the tree and with the other things of this world, any other thing in this world. But Putra Dara Grihadishu, Shastram is going to say, but with respect to certain people, 
my association is as strong as my association with the body. It's all bad. So, body ko kuch hua to, fir hamko to dukh hota hai. And even in the family, something happens, dukh hota hai. Same dukh happens. Same thing. And so, that association is also there. Despite there being a distance. See, somebody mentions distance in class. Three is far away. There is a gap. Physical gap, you know. But even with physical gap, I consider many things as me and mine. That is probably that could be the reason that I'm telling he's my son. I have the feeling that I have given him the life. You were in the pre you were you were explaining you know, that uh, due to my ignorance. I feel or I am convinced that I have given, he is my child. He, I have given him the life. Correct. So that's... In, yeah, please. So therefore, that you're, you're saying that because of that, the association is there. That's what I think you're saying, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It can't be anybody else's child. It is my child. Everybody also yeah. agrees with Everybody agrees with me also. See, I also say, no. congratulates the person. Congratulations, yeah. they say. And mm. therefore, it, that, that attachment is completely sealed. It's all entrenched. That's given. There's no way I, have, of... <laughs> I, I have given him only the body, but I have not given him the life. Yeah, but the Shastra has to come and say it. Until then, uh, the, 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 the person giving birth doesn't know all these things. <laughs> Correct. I have one. I have one more doubt. Uh, you were talking about uh, Sanskrita buddhi is equal to ekagra buddhi. Can can we say uh, Sanskrita buddhi means dhira? Yeah, in this context, all are identical. In this context, all those words are identical. Ekagraha, ekagriya, sukshmaya, buddhya, everything. All those words are identical. Samskritaya. As Dira. Yeah. We, so Dira generally refers to a person. And Diraha generally means Viveki. Yeah. Diraha means Viveki. Viveki. One who has Viveka is called a Diraha. Ah. Dhyam Rati iti Diraha. One who uses the mind is called a Diraha. That is the literal okay. meaning of the word Diraha. Yeah. Paranji, once more. Uh, Once more, the dhiram? Dhiram rati iti dhira. Dhiram rati, okay. Ah, rati. So one who uses the buddhi is called dhira. That means what? We have to ask ourselves the question, am I using my buddhi or not? You know? <laughs> so when, when we say samskrita buddhi, that means he is using the, that he is so, so much involved that he is not emotional, his intellect is supreme. Refined yeah. the buddhi. Right, right. Refined buddhi. See, it's not like we don't have a refined buddhi. Everybody has a refined buddhi. But it applies to certain situations. Real yeah. estate. This guy has a very refined buddhi. He knows exactly which subdivisions are good, which places you should not go, which places uh, this, that. He will give a big lecture on. He can write a book on it. Samskrita buddhi, with respect to real estate, Samskrita buddhi is there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so therefore, it, we should not say, that we are not capable of it, we should say. We are capable, but with respect to certain topics. But with respect okay. to, uh, is the Samskrita buddhi there? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Akre Pashyami Tejo. Okay. Hema, Hema is gone, is it? Hema is Maya turned backwards. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Guruji, can you take up Hema Ji's question? That uh, Agreya, Agriya, Agram, 
agria agria ya agram eva he says Uh, agriya, agriya. Yeah, so Taya Agriya. So it is not Chandrasam. So he is saying Agram Eva Agriya. He said the word Agriya means Agram Eva. As though in front. Like something is there, like in front. That is the meaning of Agram Eva. Agriya means like as though something is in front. You can never say uh, this thought is in front and that thought is in back and all that. The spatial, uh, spatial description you can't give to thoughts in the mind. Right? You can't give. You can say, yeah, that's been in my mind for a long time. It is really a high priority for me. That you can say. But especially you can't say agre front and all you can't say. That is what he's saying. Agram eva. That word eva means that. Eva is saying he like as though that is there in front of you. As though. It is there on top of your mind. That's the priority for you right now. I can't think of anything else. Let's talk about it. Current thought. What is that? Current thought. Current, current thought. Yeah, so, no, current thought is fine, but there are a lot of thoughts in the mind. Mind is not just one thought. Mind has many thoughts, but there is something that's pressing right now. The high priority. That seems to occupy a good bit of my mind. Good bit of my day is spent on that. that, that that's why he's saying, Agram Eva. Eva means as though in the front. As though in the front. So, he's saying that is called Agriya in the front. Taya. By that, by that disposition where this thought about knowing Atma is right on top, top priority. That is what he is referring to. So, Agriya, Agriya is ek Akaranta Sri Lingam. So, Taya would be Agriyaya. Correct? So, Agriya is uh, Visheshanam for Vidya, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. A Buddhi who has the priorities clear with respect to Atma. I think Agra should be translated as priority. Now that I we discussed it, it's so a priority, top priority. That is the meaning of Agriya Buddhi. A Buddhi for which the Atma is top priority. Why top priority? Why not somewhere else? Swamiji gives this example. You know, he's sitting in the airport. Let's say you're going from, you're transiting, you're transiting, you're, 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 you're stuck in London. You have nobody in London. You are not interested in London, but you are sitting in London. Okay, that's the that's called transit. Okay, uh, your sights are elsewhere, and so you are sitting in London, and you have to catch your next flight. Those days, I don't know if they have it now. But those days, I have seen it, and uh, there is a big board with all the flights taking off, right, and all the gates and all. And Air France, this, and then Lufthansa, that, Air India, this, this, everything. All flights are going to different cities. And Munich and this Lufthansa flight. What happens? It's, it, this is not a digital, this is not a digital screen. It is a beautiful thing. They have a whole big board where each is, each is rotating, rotating block, some triangular block or some square block or something. It rotates. And, uh, and each block has letters in it. And so, it, good, 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 good. It just rotates and then it changes. And all of them have to change. Because it's for the second one to go become first. First one is taken off. First flight is taken off. And so now the second has to become first. Third has to become second. So everything. And then that's a good thing because, because normally you're taking a nap. And taking a long nap in a transit is not a good idea. 
and you kind of conflict will be there. What happens if I sleep off? And so this guru guru will have a way of waking up. So that guru guru happens. And then finally, oh my God, here India has come finally at the bottom. It has appeared in the screen. Swamiji will say, finally, oh, moksha has come into the radar screen. Moksha, until then, no moksha. <laughs> moksha. Then what happens? Something else is taken off. Some other project is gone. And then, second, from bottom, first, the previously bottom, second from the bottom. Moksha, moksha is. So like that. How many of you have seen this? What I'm talking about? Yeah. Is it still there or not? This kind of system. Still there? No. Oh. Yeah, Radha Ji is saying, yes, so some airports may have it. They may like to. Preserve LED, LED displays. Now it's all LED. It's very easy. Those are mechanical. Those are mechanical. Of course. So, some airports may have. Look at Swami's example. I was just blown away when he gave his exam. Like the turning calendar, which you had like that. Turning, turning calendar. calendar. <laughs> that that is movie. After a long time, you know, this 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 boy has become a now an adult. You know, so the calendar they just blow the fan on the calendar. The calendar just flies like that. Our typical calendar, paper calendar. I have anyway. one more question. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Samskrita can uh, uh, can I define it as asam uh, asamyakritam uh, asamyakritam? Uh, is there a word called asamyak? No. Yeah, Samskritam is samyakritam. Yeah, we use, sometimes use the word asamyak also. Asamyak we use. So. No, it's not right to say asamyak kritam. It's not correct. Samyak kritam, samskritam. Na samskritam, asamskritam. That's the way to put it. Asamyak kritam doesn't, doesn't, somehow doesn't sound right. <laughs> you don't do because, asamskritam. You do kritam, samskritam only. Yeah. Guruji, what, what does it mean, Samyakritam? Samyakritam means well done. Samskritam also means, the language also means that, the word means that. Samyakritam, well done. Well done means complete. Purnaha ityartaha. Nothing remains to be desired. That's the meaning of it. Nothing, um, nothing remains to be desired. Yeah, okay. That means perfect. Uh, you, 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 you arrange all the furniture, rearrange everything, and then you dust everything off. Ah, everything looks good. Uh, because you got bored with the previous configuration, now you have to change everything. Uh, everything looks good. Any, any changes? Any curtains? Everything all, all right? Yeah, everything is all right. And cobwebs and all removed? Yeah, removed. That's it. Complete. Purnaha. That is Samskritam. At least here, the cobweb is waiting. The cob, the web, the, the, the spider is waiting on the side. And let this guy, he's, the Rajas, kicking up. That he's going to sleep tonight. Okay, after that, I'll take care of him. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. But here, I'm going to Okay. Guruji, anyway. Samyakritam could also be Karma Yoga, right? Kritam can be Karma Yoga. How, how is that? Uh, Chitta Shuddhi happens. So, Samyak, you have done your work. So, it could it be Karma Yoga? Yeah, so, Karmena Kritam. Karmena Kritam. Suppose somebody is, is following Dharma, right? To, and will not take shortcuts. Then we will say Samyakritam. Samyakritam. And yeah, Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga Buddhya Kritam. Yeah, correct. Samskritam can be said. In that context, that, that meaning, that word will have that meaning. Samskritam. 
So it's a general word. It's only contextual. Yeah, contextual word. So good, karma yogi. So a thief will also steal beautifully. Samya kridam, without leaving any trace. <laughs> he will go tell his friends that night. Adhya samya kridam viti. Can we you use the word samskrudam as a pointer to Brahman? Ask again. Can we use the word samskrudam as a pointer to Brahman when you are telling perfect, no change? Okay. As a pointer, like like all pervading. Uh, Samskritam as a pointer. To Brahman. Yeah. See, Brahman is Akritam. Brahman is not a product. Brahman is not a product of karma at all. So anything you talk about karma, Brahma will not come. Anything we mean about doing, Karanam, Kritam, etc. Kritam is all karma related. So where karma comes, Brahma will not come. So you can't even point to Brahma by saying Sanskrit. Okay. Because Brahma is Akarta. What is Akarta? So Guruji, uh, when we are talking about the language, so now uh, this Bashim is taught in Samskritam. Where is karma coming into it? That as a language. Good, good question. Where is karma coming? So, it's all built up, right? Yeah, yeah. An essay is, 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 a, is a combination of paragraph, paragraphs, chapters. The chapters is a combination of of uh, sections. Sections are a combination of paragraphs. Paragraphs are a combination of sentences. Sentences are a combination of words. Words. How words are made into sentences? There are some rules. Grammatic is called the actor alone. Correct? You can't say a sentence can't be arbitrarily put together. It, it cannot have a mistake. Therefore, rules are there. So put together. Kritam. Kritam. Everything is put together. And in Sanskrit, the word itself is put together from dhatus, etc. And there are rules for that also. And therefore, it's a, it's a science. It's a science. It's a name they have given. It's a, it's a name they have given. It's a name they have given. Well done. It is hmm. clarified. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? So look at this. We, we, there is no end to questions, is it not? Some, that is the that's the beauty of the human mind. This ability to just just wander, look around, look around, look around, connect, 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 and then questions will come up. And uh, trying to and then making sense of all that is another beauty. Everything falls in place. Now I understand, and you can say there is some joy in that. Anything else? Last call for questions. Okay, Surendra. Guruji, I want to uh, speak about a custom of Adhyatmic level declaration in Sanatan Samstha. This is uh, something like this that every Guru Purnima to Guru Purnima is one year. So what happens that uh, a average Kali Yugi, this is based, uh, declared on the percentage basis. That means Zero, hundred percent is Ishwara, and uh, Jiva is somewhere in, uh, traveling in between. The purpose of sadhana is we are trying to make distance between us and Ishwara at zero. That is the purpose, and that is how we are we have to progress. So they say that uh, average Kali Yugi is a twenty percent sadhvik. That means eighty percent Raja and Tama content. When he makes a progress, someone if he becomes for example, 60% Satvik, that means Rajatama reduced to 
then he had uh, he is declared as gone beyond the janma mrityu cycle now the further progress that means making 60 to 80 and like that is basically sent food and uh, reducing distance further which is extremely difficult so how it is done that uh, there is a, every uh, center is there so in center at some point of time they take photograph of that ind one individual now this photograph is studied by i of a sukshma darshi now uh, in the sense that first his i is studying that is as you tell told today i then mam then buddhi and that buddhi sukshma darshi buddhi so it, it is the every the same photograph seen every year it can declare whether he has made a progress between that year or not that means if the progress is there there will be movement from 60 to 61 if there is no progress it will be going from 60 to 59 and no no progress means 60 to 60 it is something that is how the custom is there so i just wanted to tell about it thank you this <laughs> custom where is what is it where is this custom ye sanatan sanstha the hindu janaja sanstha hindu janajagruti samiti okay the hs yeah is part of hs yes and uh, good somehow or the other we become sattvic you know more sattvic and less tamasic that's all <laughs> okay good so we'll pause that <clears throat> Om Namo Bhagavate. <clears throat> no, it should be what? Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudev. This Bhagavate comes. The, the Vaivasvataya also is coming to mind. <laughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Dhanvantaraye. Amrita Kalasha Hastaya. Sarva Maya Vinashanaya. त्रैलोक्यनाथा श्री महाविष्णवे नमः